Hey everybody, it's uh, Tim again from Tucson. I'm an AMP here. Just uh, wanted to do a quick video on how to use a cable tension meter. A lot of us military mechanics, when we're transitioning to the civilian world, it might be a tool that we didn't use. I remember my days in the Air Force, I, the whole time I was in, 24 years, I only used this a couple of times. So I'll jump right in. There's many types of different tools to use to check cable tension. One that we're using today is a Pacific Scientist uh, cable tensionometer. It looks like such. Really easy tool to use. And it has a couple nice built-in features. Uh, first one is, if I don't know what my gauge, uh, what size my wire is, I can use this tool to figure it out. I can put the wire in the jaws, set the reading, and I can see that this is one eighth cable. So I can test a cable that has slack in it to tell exactly what size it is. Uh, in our aircraft application or our, uh, our AMP oral and practical task could be to use this tool. I would need to know what kind of size cable. So here I have the slack cable. I can put it in here. I can adjust the wheel and I can see that this is a 1 16th cable. But that's not all. Once I determine this 1 16th size, I need to set the dial. As you can see, there's a dial where I can pick because this tool can check tension on multiple size cables. So now that I have the tool set to the correct cable size and the dial to the correct reading, I can go ahead and take a reading. It's as simple as finding my cable. And remember, when you're checking cable tension, you want to make sure you're in the middle. These are uh, desktop uh, apparatus for practicing and for testing on, on all on practical. But on actual aircraft, we would find a span between the two cables to, to do it. Once I put it on, I can release and I have a reading. And this cable is reading 27 pounds. So I could jot that down and see if it's within spec based on the manufacturer's data. And I could adjust the turnbuckle uh, to loosen or tighten to get where it needs to be. One other cool feature about this tool is what if you're in an area where you can't read the gauge, you can't put the cable on and read it. This tool has a hold function. I can go in and reach into that inaccessible area. I can get my reading. I can use this pin to hold it and then I can release it. And when I come back to it, the face still has the reading on it. So that way, if I have to reach up in between other cables or through a bulkhead or something like that, I can still take a reading. So. Handy tool, real easy to use. Once again, I just wanted to cover how to use the cable tension tensionometer, and it, it could be a task on your oral and practical so that you're not a stranger to it and uh, it won't catch you sideways. Uh, always follow manufacturer's directions and be safe out there, everyone. Take care.